Hi! Welcome to September 5th. It's finally the day that you can order from the holiday catalog. So if you are um, on YouTube, then you are seeing this on YouTube. Um, but I just want to tell you, if it is September 5th, then I'm um, doing an online extravaganza. Um, so you will want to go to my Facebook and to my website, which is stampinonline.com, um, and to over on Facebook at Sherry's Cards. My Pinterest is Sherry's Cards. Um, my Instagram is Sherry's Cards. Most everywhere except for my website is Sherry's Cards. Because if I see you comment or share or pin or um, post or join my new Facebook group, um, I have a business page, but um, if I see you acting or commenting or sharing or all that fun stuff today. I'm gonna have um, lots of specials and some prize patrols and all kinds of fun stuff because it's finally the day that you can order. Um, and I'm not showing me for two reasons. Partly I wanna keep this fast and partly if you saw my Instagram yesterday, I was doing a lot of today's planning in the pool. So I'm still, I'm a little browner, <laughs> but I'm still pooled. Um, so I um, am dressed but um, I want to get straight to today's project. So it, this, if you have seen some of my other videos, this was the very first stamp set. It's called Wishing You Well that I was drawn to when I first um, scrolled through our online version of the catalog. Um, and I could show it to you, but on the off chance that I get my act together and I do get this posted before it's midnight, I don't want to break any rules. So I'm going to show you another card from Wishing You Well. Um, and then I'm going to um, have a lot of samples upcoming that use pieces of this. This is Merry Christmas to All. Not a Christmas card I'm going to show you today, but I'm going to use one of the words out of here. This is a great set. And in fact, I think that I have the, the dies in it, um, which normally, if you've seen my office pictures, I keep them in a cabinet up on the walls, but this I still have in here. Um, but there are a ton of words in here. And they made an appearance on a lot of my cards so far this year. So I'm going to pull one of the words out. So let's get started on this card. Um, I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock as my backing. Um, but overall, it's not going to show much. It's just going to be the base of the card. So I've got that folded in half. And then actually, my card is going to be one of our um, wood... Um, designer series paper pieces and then this is um, in the catalog and you'll want to hop over if you're seeing this early enough I'm gonna do a Facebook live today and I'm gonna show off some things in the catalog this is our frost frosted I can't talk frosted florals designer series paper and it's kind of hard to, oh maybe you're catching it it it's frosted it's got a real pretty sheen to all of the papers so I'm gonna pull this and then I'm gonna, just gonna layer this on here Oh, and it looks like perhaps I didn't cut something the right size. That's a little short, but that's okay. So I'm gonna layer this on top of this. And look, it's one of it's one of the ones where every side's so pretty. See that one's so pretty too. But it is what it is, and it's gotta be taped over. I'm just gonna layer this here. And you wanna do this first. Um because this is gonna be our piece and I'm gonna work with this and then eventually adhere this to this piece. Um, so I'm gonna move that out of this way so I don't accidentally tape to that. Um, and then I'm gonna take this piece here. I think it's like, it could be wheat. There's some flowers that you could add to it so it could be leaves. Um, and it's got really pretty dimension. And if you look at it, and if you look in the catalog, like there's different layerings of like color. So you don't want to stamp too hard because if you stamp too hard, you're going to lose that definition of color. The first time I stamped with it, I pressed hard on my ink pad and I thought, oh, that doesn't look right. This is espresso. I'll stamp. Ink it up. But again, don't press super hard. This is shimmery white because you know my favorite color. I also like the shimmer, it goes well with the um, frosted florals. But see, you want to, when you stamp, you want to have some dark brown, some light browns where it kind of catches the different color. So you want that, that's the way it's supposed to look. You don't want all to be one color. 
Um, and this is a red rubber stamp because that could not happen. That dimension of color couldn't happen in photopolymer. So I've got that. Um, then this set comes with a beautiful bow and eventually I'm gonna do a card just with the bow. And I've done so many cards <laughs> recently that I'm down to using my um, blocks that came with some of my kits. And I've also used a lot of um, shimmer paper. And so I've got some of my um, scraps of shimmer paper because this is gonna fit. This is Tranquil Tide. And I had not got new, um, I wasn't gonna replace my outgoing in colors, but they're on the way. So this is still an old style pad. And again, this, you can see, if you want it to have two colors, um, so don't press super hard when you press into your ink pad or into that because you want it to have dimension in the color. So I've got that. Then on the inside of my card, it has the beautiful wreath, which was really what attracted me to the stamp. Again, it has layers of color, so not too hard on the stamp pad, not too hard when you stamp. And then you'll have the dimension of color in that. So this is the inside of my card. And then go back to the words, and it says, sending you our thoughts and prayers. That to the espresso pad. Just put that on the inside of the wreath. And then this is where I'm gonna pull in, this is a photopolymer because it did come from the other set, stamp set and it says blessings. And then I'm gonna go back to one of my little scrap pieces here. I mean, if you saw my winter woods, um, the haters were out on that. I'm getting lots of thumbs down. Apparently they don't like that. Haters don't like that card. You know, you have to have a thick skin to do YouTube because people just give you the thumbs down for no reason. So I've got the blessings on that. But this piece is the scrap that was still laying on my table from that card. So I'm gonna take my little window punch here. See, so don't throw away when you have the more expensive card stock like this. Feel free to use these um, scraps because this, it looks like when you see the tree that was cut out, that looks like there's not a whole lot left, but there's plenty. There's still enough on the other side to get another blessings out of that. This though is gonna have to be fussy cut. So close that up, grab some scissors. This bow is easy to fussy cut though. Remember to always leave just a little bit of border because if you go right up alongside your image and, and you nick into it, then it looks worse. It just looks better if you leave a tiny bit of a border. This was, um, if you're a demonstrator and you're part of our demonstrator Facebook group that me and my girlfriends do, this was part of my um, swap card that we did on Facebook Live the other day when we did the first of our Orlando on stage swaps that we're working on. And that was inspired by my um, Winter Woods card. It's from Love, um, Rooted in Nature. But I have not got back to any more of those. As much as I would like to be ahead, you know we had a holiday weekend and I made myself take the holiday off. Because sometimes when you work from home, you know it's hard to not be working when you're at home. So I didn't get online very much. I'll lay these aside. Lay this aside and then just grab my big shot up here real quick. I've got my magnetic platform in. I'm gonna grab my oval. This is the stitched oval. Pull that out up perfectly with this. And if you're if you are watching this and it's the first day of the catalog, I've got specials, but all month long I will have specials and then um 
in October I'll have some Halloween things and November I'll have um, lots of Christmas stuff lots of Christmas ideas we'll do the beginning um, of November we'll have a couple of Thanksgiving things and then we'll progress pretty quickly into Christmas and um, I'm gonna move that so I can see and again I'm gonna keep this because there's gonna be a, enough room on that that I can get some more of those blessings out I'm gonna make some of these for some of my downline that couldn't make it to our stamp event. When you have this stitch one here, these stitch things here, you gotta get those first ones poked out so you can kind of pull it because it adds those little stitch lines, which is beautiful, but they do get stuck in there. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna just take here, this right here. This is why I don't wanna work with this. Oh, and then I'm out of adhesive. Okay. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use my fast fuse, which I still have fast fuse, which you can't get anymore in the catalog, but I still have some. I'm going to use it because it's laying here. I don't know what I was saying before that. Then this is some new ribbon that's in the um, catalog. We had um, Razzleberry in the, catalog, in the annual catalog and this is Tranquil Tide and it's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful but you know me I'm ad addicted here comes my cap um, I'm addicted to the um, the polka dot tool so I'm going to line it up over the top of this so when I wrap it around it comes back over here that's crooked just gonna lay this on top because I want it to be. There you go. Pull that. What's wrong, Zibby? I've got so many stamp sets sets stacked right here at the edge of my thing. She can't make her way over to where I am. It's kind of thrown her for a loop. Oh, she's going the other way. It's about time for everybody to come home. My daughter's stopping by after she gets done teaching before she goes home because I bought some food for her. My husband went into work super early because he had to move an emergency room. He works at the hospital. He had to move an emergency room around this morning. So he went in super early after his holiday and was hoping he would get home early. But apparently the move didn't go as planned because one of the printers didn't work. So he's waiting for the printer people to come bring them a new printer. So it could be another reason I'm trying to talk fast. Otherwise, it could be a mass rush of people into my door and they don't know that I'm filming. So I'm just gonna tie this here. I'm gonna try to tie my knot kind of flat, which is, you know, when you're working with two ribbons, a challenge. That's not too bad because I wanna, um, have this here, but then I want my bow to be on top of that. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to take this whole panel here and mount it to my white. And because the whole panel is going to go um, with your snail or whatever you're using, get kind of close to the edge because you don't want people to think that there's another front and try to peel this up, which sometimes happens. But then you have to be careful when you put this on because you know you only have one shot, especially because I used my fuse. Snail's a little bit more forgiving. So let's see if I can get it. Kind of go slow. There we go. I'm going to take my blessings. And just mount this down here. I think I was telling you something before my cat jumped up here about my specials. So just make sure that you, oh, normally on my, I think one thing I was going to say, normally I have a month long special. Um, if you buy with the host code this month, I'm going to mix it up a little bit because of the kickoff. So this week, at least I'm going to have a different host code special. So if you're watching and it's still the first week of September, um, you'll want to check what the special is because it's going to change. So if you, if you, checked out the host code special on stampinonline.com um, and from there you can get 
my Stampin' Up site is just Sherry. But my mom, you know, my mom spelled my name weird. So it's C-H-E-R-I. Um, Sherry Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up.net is where you can shop. But the host code will be over. These are glue dots. Um, the host code will be on StampinOnline.com. Um, but it'll also be in my Facebook. I'm just going to stick some glue dots there. And there you go. Frosty and shimmery. Um, it's a nice, you know, sympathy. It's, I don't know that I would send it, you know, if somebody died, but you know, if somebody has been sick, it might be a little bit, um, but you know, if you're just thinking of somebody more or less, it's a thoughts and prayers. I don't know that, um, it's a funerally kind of thing, but you know, if somebody's going through a rough time, it's more what I kind of see it as. So there you go. We're all, you know, holiday catalog kickoff time is one of those fall's my favorite season, but summer's my second favorite season. So, you know, you, you're losing one to get the other. So when holiday catalog kickoff comes, I'm excited because I do love fall and I love, you know, football season. I love the on stage is coming up. I love that we have a family vacation, but I hate that summer's going away. So, you know, it's a, I try to see the positive and the positive for you guys is today's September 5th and you can order from the catalog. So there you go. I hope you like that. This is, again, it's the um, wishing you well. And one of the things that's going on this week is if you comment, like, share this video, um, if you subscribe, when you do this stuff on YouTube, you have to make sure that like to comment, I have to be able to see it. If you subscribe, I have to be able to see it. And it has to be this week. So, you know, if you comment, if you like this card. Um, but this week, I'm going to be giving away the cards that I've made. So, this card's going to be sent to somebody. Um, which is part of the reason I'm saving my scraps. Because not only am I sending them to my demonstrators, but some of you all are going to get them too. So, have a good day. Happy Catalog Kickoff Week. And happy September. Bye.